I've been finding it really hard lately with my circumstances. I've been feeling so trapped with everything that's been going on. And a friend sent me a short video this morning which really impacted me and I want to tell you about it. It was about persistent prayer and in Luke chapter 11 where Jesus tells the story of a man who uh, um, goes to his friend's house and he asks for bread because he's got a guest and he doesn't have anything to give him and the friend says, don't bother me, my, my children, my family are here with me. Um, and he says that the man won't give him bread because he's his friend but because of the other man's impudence or his persistence he will get up and give it to him. And then it goes on to talk about God, about um, him being our father and him giving us good things and answering when we cry out to him. And it just really impacted me. It just gave me a fresh revelation of God, of how um, he is our father who wants to give us good things and how we can continue to come before him and how we're commanded to continue to come before him. It also mentioned the verse in Romans 8.32 where it says... Um, he who gave up his, his own son, who did not spare his own son for us, how much more will, with, will he, with him, give us all things? He's not going to withhold anything from us um, that is going to bless us and that is going to be uh, profitable for our soul. Um, he may withhold things that we want that, that, that won't be helpful for us, but he's our father, he loves us, and uh, he knows what we need. And it just reminded me, I just, I just listened to it and I just started tearing up. I just started crying, just thinking about how I can come to God. I can come to my Father. I feel so overwhelmed. I feel so weighed down. But He is unchanging. He loves me. He calls me to come before Him. And, and it just really inspired me as well to just press on, to just remember that um, I might not see anything happening today. I might not have seen anything happening the day before. Um, of the day before that, I might not see anything happen tomorrow, but I'm commanded to just press on, press on, press on, persist. And we see so much in the Bible that those who just persisted and cried out, just had their prayers answered. They might not always be the way that we want or we expect, but they, they were answered. And whether God changes our circumstances or he changes us or he changes both, we can trust him that he's going to do the best thing for us. Um, he has our best interest at heart. And it just reminded me that I've been going through so much lately and just every day you can get up and it can feel like a slog. It can just feel like I'm stuck. There's no way out. And, and it just reminds me, I just, want, I just want to come to him. I want to come get into his word. I just want to just meditate on this. Let it soak in a knowledge of who he is. And, and it's funny how you could even just read a verse that you've heard so many times and all of a sudden it just impacts you in a new way and your faith increases and and you just want to come before God and you can start to imagine what's possible and I'm so grateful that that person sent me that video and I just want to press on and press on and press on um, I want to be free from my circumstances I want to be transformed but ultimately I want to know God I want to know him more in the midst of this I want to draw close to him it's the greatest thing, that the greatest gift that we can receive. Um, so I just, I just really want to encourage you out there that if you're going through things, you just don't see the answers. There's so many scriptures. There are so many scriptures that just tell us Matthew 6, 33, to seek first the kingdom. Those things will be added to, to us. Um, Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, about trusting in the Lord with all our heart, not leaning on our own understanding, in all our ways acknowledging Him, and He'll make our path straight. Romans 8, 28, that He works all things to our good for those who love Him, who are called according to His purposes. And, and it, it's so hard to take our eyes off of what's going on and just bring ourselves again to that place of faith because everything around us is telling us the opposite of what the Word of God is saying. But we need to recognize that the Word of God is truth, and we need to stand on that no matter what we're going through. And every time we feel discouraged and like we can't, despite how we're feeling, we just need to get into the word. Just, just allow him to speak to us, to build that faith again and continue to come before him and trust that, as it says in Ephesians 3.20, now to him who's able to do far more abundantly than all that we think or ask according to the power at work within us. In Luke 1, um, it, it talks about uh, for nothing will be impossible uh, for God. Um, there are, there are so many passages in the Bible and then it, it talks about in Jeremiah 29, 13, that you know, we will seek him and find him and we seek him with all our heart. So we, we just need to stir our heart to seek him more earnestly, to seek him, as the text says, more persistently. Just keep coming and coming before him 
knowing that he wants to bless us, his delight is to bless us, to help us, to strengthen us, to reveal more of himself to us, and, and, and to just, just keep doing this day after day after day, not focusing on what's happening or what's not happening, but just bring ourselves before him because um, it's the greatest privilege we have and because we're commanded to. And ultimately, our hope isn't in our circumstances or what's happening, it's in him. And we want to bring ourselves before him and see him, allow him to do something, something new in our lives and to reveal something new to us. So that's, that's my word for today, friends. And I just, um, just pray that it's blessed you. And I pray that we can all continue to press on to that place. Um, I'll leave that video link in the description below as well, the one that, that was sent to me today. God bless you.